What's up? It's uh, 8.23 on the clock right now. I'm about to watch the Giants and Redskins. <laughs> See how that goes. Should be interesting. Should be a good game. But, um, I want to say thank you to Carolina beating the Vikings last night because that put us up in a uh, good position to give us the opportunity to try to go out and take the number two seed. So, pulling for the Bears next week against Minnesota. And, uh, you know, before I get to the Niners fans, man, and some other things, I want to say <laughs> that uh, next week is going to be huge. Next week is going to be huge, you know. We got the Broncos. Of course, that's going to be a big deal because Brian Dawkins is coming home. Corel Buckholz is coming back too, but Dawkins kind of overshadows everything. That's a big game though too. You know, we win that and then Dallas lose Sunday night against the Redskins. We we lock up the division. We lock up the division, and then hopefully. If those two, you know, if those two things happen, hopefully the Bears can go out and beat Minnesota too, and that'll put us in tie. That that'll put us at both what 11 and four. Um, the Vikings and Eagles both would be 11 and four if that all came out to play. Uh, but gives us the number two seed. Yep, we hold the tiebreaker over the Vikings. So. Right now, we're playing to lock up the division, and, uh, you know, like, <laughs> go for that number two seed, man, and get that first round by. That's the goal right now, so, feels good to clinch a playoff spot. Love it. But anyway, now, the Niners fans, um, you know, <laughs> JD, you, you, that that five and zero stat, fifteen carries or more by Frank Gore, it didn't matter. I told you that it don't matter. I didn't give a shit about it because now five and one because he carried the ball six times over hundred yards, didn't get in the end zone, but uh, yep. And uh, Don V, man, I you know what? I, I really expected more from you. Cause you're trash, dude. You trash talk, man. Come on, tr come on, come on, man. Your trash talk was weak. You know, you don't. I mean, you pulled out some girl shit, man. You pulled out some girl shit. Oh, I hate the fucking Eagles. I hate the Eagles. They got ugly colors. Yeah, that's something that my fucking teenage sister would say. Get the fuck out of here with that. But anyway. I'm, I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I ain't even mad at you. I ain't even mad at any of you Niners fans. Red Zone, you fucking shit. The null and void, son. Come on. You, you shit is null and void because you, you don't, you, you play and you act like, uh, <laughs> act like you, you never heard of any of our players. <laughs> null and void, kid. Nothing you say is fucking relevant when it comes to me anymore. But the Niner Empire as a whole props, man, because that one video, that one and only video that I made, I don't know what the hell, you guys were having a fucking board meeting or something and, you know, just jump on my shit so fast. But, you know, I'll give you guys credit because CNS ain't never done that like that on any of my videos. CNS, BNG, Mafia, you know, Giants Mafia, whatever. Big Blue Commission or whatever. So, I give you guys credit, man. And I never, you know, doubt you guys for a minute as far as being unfaithful to your team and, you know, stuff like that. So, you guys get all the credit, credit in the world for me as far as that goes. Some of you ain't the fucking sharpest tools in the fucking shed. I'll, I'll give you that, but... Yeah, I give credit where credit's due. But, um, you know, that and, uh, man, the Eagles look good. The Eagles looked good yesterday. And, um, Kevin Curtis was, was back in the game. I mean, you know, 
only threw to him, I think, twice, only with one 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 catch. But you know, it was good to see him back out there. You know, he's slowly working him back in and uh, running the ball. Weaver, of course, Lashawn McCoy. It's it's good to see the run game we got now. You know, you don't have to have an Adrian Peterson to have a great run game, but uh, you know. But next week, um, not sure if Jeremy Macklin's going to be back. Not sure, but uh, it's a very good possibility that Westbrook's going to be in the game. And Andy Reid said he's not going to be in a whole, you know, play the entire game. But you know, there's a good possibility he'll be out there, which is good. Like I said, man, we're getting healthier. We're getting healthier, and people, players are coming back. And we've been on this five-game win streak with the majority of rookies and backups, man, stepping it up. So just wait till we get kicked into high gear. That's all I gotta say. So, and uh, one last thing I want to touch on is uh, this this little snowball thing. <laughs> you know, people want to say it's it's classless and. You know, typical Philly assholes and this, that, and the other. You know, I mean, come on, man. Seriously. This is coming from people that never gets fucking snow. You know, why is it that it's okay for Seattle fans last year to throw fucking snowballs at Jets players? I mean, just fucking bomb them. And that gets passed off as it's being okay because they're dealing with a shitty season. And then on top of that, it hardly ever snows in Seattle. So it's okay. Oh, look at these fans. They're just having a good time with the snow. Which, the difference between that last year with them and this year, it was only a few snowballs. So just a few snowballs being thrown. I mean, last yesterday. Last year, against the Jets, man, the fucking Jets players were running off the field. They were getting bombed with fucking snowballs. But that's okay. A few snowballs get thrown in Philly, and it's just the fucking end of the world. Whatever. What the fuck ever, man thing is, is I honestly don't care about our our reputation as far as outside fans. I really don't. My whole point is, is if you're going to be consistent on calling fucking people classic, uh, uh, classless, be consistent about it. You know, if we're classless, Seattle's classless, the Giants fans are classless because they've done it before. Bears, uh, I'm sure Buffalo and New England, you know, they've all done it before. And I mean, if anything, last night, the majority of the snowball fights were going on amongst Eagles fans just out of fun in the stands. So, whatever. Fuck the haters. Um, looking forward to Dawkins coming back, though. With the Broncos, that's going to be something. So I'm going to try to put together a little video. Something, I don't know. This week, but uh, he's coming home where he belongs in Philly. He's just on loan to Denver. But um, anyway, this video is probably run too long, so I'm gonna cut this shit short. Try to upload this at halftime during the Giants and uh, Redskins game. And uh, other than that, man, got my Dawkins jersey on. So playoffs. Eighth time in the last ten years. Eighth time in eleven years under Andy Reid. So it's pretty good. So peace out, bitches. Go birds. <laughs>